The Queen has appeared at the end of four days of celebration to mark her Platinum Jubilee. There were huge cheers from crowds out the front of Buckingham Palace following a pageant in her honour. Millions across the UK have gathered for street parties and lunches in the Queen's honour to mark 70 years of reign. There was only one finale the crowds had wanted and they got it. The Queen stepping out once again, her heirs alongside her for a moment that even for them was breathtaking. A snapshot of the future on the palace balcony that's been such a focal point of so many milestones of the past 70 years. <laughs> Sending a message to the nation, she said, while I may not have attended every event in person, my heart has been with you all and I remain committed to serving you to the best of my ability, supported by my family. I have been inspired by the kindness, joy and kinship that has been so evident in recent days. And I hope that renewed sense of togetherness will be felt for many years to come. They started the pageant by taking us back. The centrepiece, the gold state coach she used in 1953. The young monarch once again projected inside, bringing the coronation to life for a new audience. Behind the perfect military pageantry, a distinctly British display. Something for everyone, whatever your age, a nostalgic carnival of buses and music, and even the royal family were hooked. The younger ones at times were a little restless, but generally on best behaviour. As the procession passed by, an introduction to the kind of things you're expected to do when you're a royal. But also, they were doing it their own way. A video posted on social media showed cakes they'd made and sent to a street party in Cardiff. Grandad Prince Charles and Camilla hosted the flagship big lunch at the Oval Cricket Ground in London. To Her Majesty the Queen. This creation made out of felt, not ideal if they were peckish, but others just loving the chance to get together. And it's just amazing to hear all the fantastic things that, that are going on within our communities. The lunch was brilliant. Uh, this is like a lifetime, something which I will never forget. It was a great day to be uh, out here celebrating the big lunch. And yeah, just I love the cake decorations that have been around. <laughs> Prince Edward and Sophie joined one virtually in the Queen's back garden on the long walk in Windsor as people back on the Mall started to reflect on the weekend. The whole thing's been such a party, really finishing with, like, you know, dancing, joking. It's all been fantastic, and to see the Queen was an added bonus. Oh, my goodness, that just made our, made yeah. our dream come true. She's amazing, isn't she? She's just the most inspirational woman ever. And what and a great choice of outfit. You couldn't miss her, could you? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It produced what will be iconic pictures of these celebrations. A weekend where the Queen has shown us her faith in her family and encouraged us to believe in them too. Always with one eye on the future, she's once again made history after a spectacular 70 years as Queen. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News at Buckingham Palace.